Hi guys, and welcome to a new video for State of Survival. Today we are talking about the Alliance Mine, which is a new feature in the game. In this video I will show you how it works and give you a little preview of the rewards. I will also try to give you a few tips. Let's start straight away. Similar to the Influencer Trap, the Alliance Mine can only be opened by the R4 or R5. But here we already have the first special feature. Only one rally can be started to defeat the infected. So one of the strongest rally leads should start the rally on the Alliance Mine. Now I'll show you how to open the Alliance Mine. As you can see, it's not that difficult. When your rally has defeated the infected you will receive the following system mail. Now each alliance member can send one march to the mine to gather. But is it even worth the effort? In my opinion, definitely yes. As you can see in this example, I gather more limestone and coal in the level 8 alliance mine than in the normal level 9 mine. But what does that depend on? On the one hand it depends on the cold resistance in the boiler room. So my first tip is to improve the level of your boiler room. Because this increases the mining output efficiency. And on the other hand it depends on your exploration project. That's why the second tip I would like to give you is to complete the research's equipment upgrade 1 and 2. This increases your mining production. As soon as the gathering in the alliance mine is over, you will receive a system mail with the proceeds. As you can see here, you collect both materials for the frontier outpost at once. Depending on your progress in the exploration project, you have at least one march more to gather materials for Tempest Arms in the normal crystal mines. And with that we have already reached the end. I hope I was able to show you the advantages of the Alliance Mine, and I hope that my tips are of help to you. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon with new videos.